Welcome to the Develop Great Managers podcast, where you can learn directly from the experts. I'm Dale Ferrario, your host. For more information and valuable insights, go to developgreatmanagers.com. Now, on to the show. Welcome back to the Develop Great Managers podcast. This time, I'll be talking to John Gilmartin about his career journey. As a refresher, John has spent his entire career in high tech. He has worked as a consultant, a brand manager, ran product marketing, product development, and now is a general manager of a business unit at VMware. He has a degree in computer science and an MBA. I won't go into more detail because that's what this whole podcast is about. So I hope you enjoy hearing the path and the many decisions that John has made along the way to get to where he is today. Hey, John, welcome back to the show. Appreciate you being on again. Absolutely, Dale. It's great to be here. So this will be fun. This is going to be about your career journey, kind of how did you get to where you are. And the reason I love to record these is we certainly, at least maybe from some of the millennials I've talked about, feel like you're supposed to know where you're, where you're going. And then that path is supposed to be kind of well-defined. And right. pretty much everybody I've talked to, including myself, that was not the case. So I just want you to talk a little bit about your career journey. Start wherever you want, and let's just talk through some of the decisions you made along the way to get to the place where you are today. Absolutely. And you know, it's interesting. It certainly was not the case for me either. Right? <laughs> Back on when I was in college, I had no idea where I would be at this point in my career. Uh, but uh, yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll just start back, you know, just start at the beginning a little bit and, and talk through it. Uh, so I, you know, I was in college, I studied computer science. Um, you know, even going into college, I, I knew I wanted to study engineering. You know, I love math, I love science, but I wasn't sure exactly what even that meant. And, yeah, what, what kind of jobs would you actually do if you had yeah, that, right? <laughs> exactly, and, and you know, I, so I studied computer science, I did a, a number of internships, I did, you know, some, including some research and sort of made the decision. I didn't, you know, I loved solving problems and I loved, uh, kind of building things, but I didn't actually like writing code all day. Hmm. And so, yeah, I, and so that kind of put me in a position coming out of college where I had to say, okay, well, I don't want to do what I studied four years doing. You know, what, you know, what am I going to go do instead? Uh, and, and, uh, yeah, and, and frankly, I didn't really understand a lot about what the business world was about. Right? I, I didn't really understand what other kinds of jobs and opportunities were there. So I ended up doing what a lot of people do in that situation is I went to consulting. <laughs> <laughs> this will and, expose uh, me to, to the business, right? <laughs> exactly, right. And so I went, into, I went to a strategy consulting firm. Uh, it was a smaller firm, a couple, you know, mm -hmm. couple hundred people around the world, a couple of offices. Um, and it, you know, that was a great experience for me because it did give me an opportunity to uh, touch a couple of different industries, uh, see a couple of different sort of functional things that were happening in those industries, uh, learn a lot about sort of core business concepts. Like yeah, I learned finance. I learned um, you know a bit about strategy, a bit about uh, how you think about marketing, uh, basics of those things, um, which was was super interesting. It opened up my eyes quite a bit, and um, and you know, I, and I learned a huge amount from that experience, and also learned also a lot about how you say you know, do things on the softer side, like mm -hmm. presentations, like how to interact with in meetings, how to facilitate meetings, right? Which I think are really critical skills as you're kind of growing as a, as a leader and a manager. Yeah. They're foundational, but you got to develop them somewhere. Um, so I did that, uh, you know, for a couple of years and then made the decision to go to business school. Uh, and in business school, was, did that really because, you know, I was, you know, partly looking to sort of build some more skills on my own, um, but also in, you know, kind of you know, round out sort of my kind of business background and education, but also realized I wanted to, you know, move out of consulting and want to kind of get back into the technology world. Because you know, I, I, I like computer science because I like technology, even if I didn't want to write code. Um, and unfortunately, I came out of that in the middle of you know post uh, the internet dot com bust. Yeah. And there were no there there were, there were no high tech jobs. Like Good that. time to go back to school, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but unfortunately, even coming out of business school, there weren't any jobs. Either. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but there, you know, there were some, uh, just not out in California, which was sort of where I was trying to get to. But I ended up going and working at Dell uh, in uh, okay for a couple of years, uh, which was also a you know, really fan, uh, interesting experience. Uh, you know, I actually spent a year working in their manufacturing uh, business, uh, focused on kind of global manufacturing strategy. 
uh, which was you know, super interesting because you know, amazing, yeah, yeah, they had, you know they're they're a you know amazing supply chain company and really amazing on the operational side. Uh, and then I I did that for about a year and then did uh, you know a couple years in marketing at Dell, um, particularly around their server business. Now, how did you make the transition from being in the manufacturing to into marketing? Yeah, and and that one you know it was it, it took a lot of um, took a lot of networking, right? Uh, you know, it wasn't. You know, I had the advantage that I was just a year out of business school, so I still seen as sort of a generalist, and you know, still you know could take you know um, you know you know still was seen as a fit for a lot of different kinds of jobs. Um, but it took a lot of networking. I spent a lot of time meeting a lot of different people around Dell, um, you know, talking about a lot of different potential types of jobs until I found one that was a good mutual fit where both they had a need and it seemed interesting to me. I think you know what I just want to stop for just one second because I think yeah. it's really important what you just said is. Um, at certain times in your career, it's pretty easy to move in the direction of a fairly different role. Yes. Um, but if you stay in a particular role for very long, it, in some ways it gets harder. Yeah, but I think what you said is really important too, is having those relationships to the point where you might have trust where somebody might bring you over, even though you're not a perfect fit, is maybe the other way to help prepare yourself for a pretty different role. So I think that's really good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. and. Um... Uh, and you're absolutely right. And I've seen that as, as folks uh, that I work with have gone more senior in their careers. Often, you know, sometimes it's even a choice that you need to make. Do I accept this promotion, which may make it harder to kind of go do something new later? Yep. Or should I think about maybe a lateral move, yep. which, hey, maybe it's not as much prestige, but I'm going to learn some new skills and, and broaden my set of capabilities. Yep. Yeah. Um, and so in this case, it was a lateral move for me, which, uh, and, uh, and, but one that opened up, again, a lot of options, a lot of opportunity. And I, I think that's a lot of what I think about when I think about career moves is, you know, is this move uh, going to open up more options for me in the future? And can I make a contribution? Right. And I think, you know, those two questions often have been my guide as I thought about making changes. The great thing about working at Dell in, with us in servers and in marketing is I got two, two really great things out of it. One is I got very close to the sales side mm -hmm. of this. Right. Um, and, you know, seeing just the day to day of what it takes to sell, selling is hard. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you you learn a real appreciation for how hard that is when you spend time with salespeople and you try and help them. And, and I've never actually done sales myself, but I, I, I've got a real empathy for sort of the challenges and the difficulty of that job um, and, and, and sort of the things that they need to kind of be successful in that. The other thing I got from a technology side is I got really deep in the server business is I learned about this company called VMware. And- uh, Ah, there you go. That's yeah, it was just, yeah, and uh, this company called VMware, which was <clears throat> called virtualization, which uh, every time I talked about it with a customer in say the Dell briefing center uh, and talk about these things like vMotion, being able to move virtual machines around, you know, people would just be in disbelief that this was real and this was possible. And so that got me really interested in this company. And it just through luck happened to get connected to a recruiter for VMware. And they happened to have a product marketing position open. And so that's how I ended up going to VMware the first time around. And, and because it was still in your, your same field, it was an easy move from that perspective, but it's a whole different technology. So Correct. that gave you a chance to say, I can, I can add value, um, but it's going to open up maybe some additional opportunities, right? Exactly, exactly, right. It was an opportunity to go work in uh, a new space, you know, in, um, and frankly, a new geography. Um, but it was that was probably one of the easiest decisions I've ever made. <laughs> Got you to California? Is that part of it? <laughs> yes, I'm in California. It was a company I was super excited about, and a position product marketing that was a perfect fit for what I'd been doing for the previous couple of years. Yeah, it was a super easy decision. I did that for a number of years. Then my next move was actually about five years down. I decided to leave VMware and I went to a startup. Now that was a hard decision because I loved VMware. I had a great experience with the company, uh, but I was looking to do something a bit different. Right? I had been doing the same role for about five years um, and I felt like I wasn't growing anymore. And I wasn't interested just in growing vertically. I want, not that I just wanted to manage more people. I wanted to go learn something new. Um, and so I was, what I did is I went to a startup, I ran marketing there. Uh, so kind of all the other aspects beyond product marketing. Uh, but really it was more about opening up more options and opportunities, but also seeing what that kind of startup experience was like, you know? Um, and, you know, it's such a different thing being inside of a, a startup uh, and, you know, 
learning about you know the, the pace and the changes that you have to think and, and the it's a very different experience uh, and a great learning experience frankly yeah yeah so you broadened pretty significantly the the things that you had accomplished and, and knew how to do yes and that probably opened up yet another set of opportunities for you right it did right and you know so my scope in terms of you know, the breadth of things i was doing <clears throat> The startup were you know, much different than what I doing at VMware. So I learned a lot in terms of functional skills. Yeah. Uh, and then learned a lot also about how do you kind of work in a small team in a smaller environment. Like that. Um, the thing, the other thing it did is it gave me exposure to this new space in storage. Um, and, you know, again, learning something new that opened up opportunities actually, because then VMware came back a couple years later and said, we're getting into the storage business, uh, but we need someone to come run product for that business. And so that was a, you know, again, almost that was an easy decision because <laughs> it was a chance to actually move uh, into a more product management type role. So, yeah, you know, I've been doing marketing for a while. Now I was able to go do product management, get closer to engineering and closer to the engineering side of building process products and, and kind of running business. So again, you know, learning something new, taking on a new challenge, but also a place where I felt I could contribute because now I had a background in storage. I had a background in a lot of the aspects of how you bring product to market. Yeah, you were bringing skills that were probably pretty weak in VMware at the time. Correct. Yep. Yeah. So I, I could contribute, and it opened up lots of opportunities for me to learn something new. Um, yeah. So I did that, and then you know, it's over the course of the next couple of years that that kind of that job evolved a bit through some more changes. But ultimately, the the biggest then decision inside VMware that came up was really as part of an organizational change to say, um, you know, should I take on this role to go build something new? in the company, right? And this is where you and I started working together. Yep. Um, you know, the company has been so product <clears throat> and here we were gonna go try and be the first to really say, hey, we need to go build this as, make a more cross product solution approach to how we deliver these products to our customers. And you know, that, was, uh, that was a hard decision, right? Because, you know, the center of mass and the center of energy of the company was in product. And here you and I were gonna go off and do something that was, you know, important but not always necessarily the most respected or understood of why it was important. Yeah. And I mean, you're either going to make traction and it's going to become important or yes. it's going to fizzle out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and so that's, and so that's the risk that we took. Right. And, uh, and again, it was a great opportunity to learn something new. And I did feel like even if it didn't work out, I was going to learn something and I was, uh, and, and, it would, and it, there'd be opportunities that came from it. So I wasn't overly worried about the risk, but there was some risk involved. Um, and, you know, it's through our hard work and then you know, over time that yeah, we, we've turned that into something real. Uh, but again, it's that, that journey, I think, is so critical um, uh, and, you know, so much you can learn along the way. Well, it seems like along the way, I mean, from that role and continuing to where you are now, you know, in some ways your scope has just continued to grow, but you have a much bigger component of business um, okay. than maybe you ever did before, right? It's, it's a huge chunk of the business now. Yeah, and so you know, you know, you know, what was great about this role is you had a chance to take over, take on responsibility for engineering, product management, product marketing, really sort of a pretty end to end view as yep. a manager. Yeah, you build a product, but also take a product to market, right? And so, you know, that's a you know, pretty unique opportunity um, uh, and a unique view and lens you have on a business, right? And I, and I, I there's no way I would have gotten here if I think you know, thinking back to my career, if I hadn't been willing to sort of take on new responsibilities that were lateral at times, but that did open up you know, ways for me to learn new things and to learn new functions and to learn how various functions operate. And it's sort of like this role is sort of the culmination of a lot of those things. Yeah. I'll have and spend my time talking. One day, one meeting will be an engineering discussion. The next one will be with sales. The next one will be customers. And, uh, and I, you know, having all these experiences in my past of what made me possible for me to feel like I can be effective. In this uh, that's awesome. Well, congratulations. You now have, you know, a tremendous responsibility at VMware. And it sounds like all those steps along the way have prepared you to be successful. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing to see. Great journey. Well, thank you. Thank you, Dale. It's, it's been fun and, uh, and it's a great conversation again. So thank you very much for that. All right. Thanks for the time. Thanks. Thank you so much for listening. If you like what you heard, there are more podcasts available on developgreatmanagers.com, on iTunes, or wherever you get your podcasts. And if you have time, please post a comment, or better yet, please write a review. Talk to you in the next podcast.